And whenever you install a tree, make sure you budget for staking it as well. So, so literally just missed it. I just got off the phone with a, a prospect, potential customer, and I have about 11 quotes right now today. Mm -hmm. I'm calling them back, confirming that I'm going to be there to make sure they're there. And this one customer that I'm supposed to be to in about an hour, and I'm gonna get, uh, lunch, Brian and I are gonna get lunch. Yep. The guy said, well, I started trimming it myself, and then I still want you to come out. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. You started trimming it yourself. That's first sign to me that, okay, this guy sounded a little older, which is fine. Yep. He's, he's trying to save money. He's probably on a fixed income. Stop. So don't confuse being busy with productivity. I sent him a couple more questions. Oh, you have a, a 50 foot long gigantic burning bush hedge that all needs to be trimmed. We've done that before. It takes ladders and big hedge trimmers. It's a huge mess, right. raking up on tarps. So I said, okay, at 150 bucks an hour with three guys, I said, well, sir, you know, we are booked. Um, we're booked a month out and we have a $500 minimum. I just make up the minimum on the spot depending on the type of job. Sure. I say, well, does, does that sound out of the ballpark, Jim? He goes, oh yeah, actually that's way out of the ballpark. I was thinking maybe just a couple hundred bucks. So now you can go on and stay on the phone as long as you want, but the conversation's pretty much over. Okay, sir, well, so it sounds like you're gonna handle it yourself and find someone else. Right. Okay, boop, get off the phone as soon as possible and then get on to the next thing. So literally you just saved yourself the time and energy, unless you wanna learn hard lessons and go around and get tons of experience. Hey, I've been making mistakes for five years. I'm sick of it. Right, I gotta jump in here. I saw Keith do a uh, Facebook post, it was like two weeks ago, not even, and you were talking about quotes and estimates. And dude, just in like the first 90 seconds, like that's worth hundreds of dollars. Like you were like minimums with uh, where you're gonna travel to, how much, all this other stuff, it was legit. And so this whole video, guys, is gonna be just like this. Stay tuned, we got more coming, but the man right here with uh, doing quotes and estimates. And this is designed to help you guys out with not wasting your time and your energy, your resources. Man, driving around town, if you guys are into that kind of stuff, stay tuned because that's gonna be the rest of this video, all right? And you will waste your time and energy until you experience the pain of what it causes. When it starts leaking into your personal life, yeah. because you're doing stupid stuff, wasting time at work, mm -hmm. and that, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. No, ho hopefully you guys are enjoying this, man. Uh, again, this is kind of just like a, a different pace video. We're just kind of chilling, hanging out. Um, I'm on Keith's side of town. He's been hosting me all day, and uh, I'm learning a lot. There's, there's so much stuff I want to capture on the camera that uh, sometimes Keith and I, we just get rolling, talking 100 miles an hour, you know? We're like, you gotta come back and speak at my uh, social media explosion live workshop coming up soon. Okay. Uh, you're committing on camera right now. He's coming to present, and you might show up too. I'm sorry, sorry. lady. Yeah, well, uh, sounds good to me. Uh, I, I don't know, I'm just an actor, so I'll do the best I can, you know? Both of us are. We, Dude, that's the thing. So, um, I really Your appreciate enthusiasm is is awesome. Yeah. This guy left me a voicemail on the phone. He's like, yeah, so ba 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 ba, so ba 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 ba. I felt like I was like talking to the the MF CEO, man. I don't know. I like that. I mean, I just don't want to waste this guy's time, man. Like, this guy's busy, busy, busy running around. He's like, hey, Saturdays I do all my quotes because I watch his videos. I'm like, hey, I'm, there's a probably a good chance that you're running around doing quotes. Can I come hang out with you for the day? He's like. He's like, just don't get in my way. No, he didn't say that. <laughs> dude, we're having fun. This dude is crushing it. No, we're, dude, you guys are crushing it. You know, that, that's the whole thing, man. Like, I, I'm all about the free estimate things and, and, and doing quotes and, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. And there are times we gotta measure things and do the whole deal. So I'm not like trying to go from one ditch to the other. You know what I'm saying? But realistically, like, honestly, free estimates are cool. And I'm not saying charge for your estimates. It's just, dude, you gotta value your time more. And you can use technology. You can use Google Earth and zip, zip around a, uh, a property. You can do, like, on yard books, I can measure out how much square feet things are. Punch, punch it into some uh, rates and some calculators that I have and we're good to go. We're saving time and money and making money. Speaking of estimates, yeah. you, you have time. Uh, if we zip up to this house, I got a preen. We just finished it. I can walk around and explain everything that we did real quick. That's and cool. And actually give you all the pricing. Let's do it. Of exactly uh, like the 50% gross profit margin, what happened, the mistakes that I made, how it cost me money. Let's do it. Absolutely. Okay. You guys want to see a live uh, a live bid from the man himself? Yep. But we got to stop at Home Depot real quick. Oh, darn. Now I'm going to go spend money. <laughs> we both spend money. <laughs> All right, cool. We'll see you guys here in a minute. All right, so we're going to walk on this property because I forgot to put preen down in the garden beds. But it's a great opportunity for us to get to know each other and <laughs> talk about exactly what we did here and what it costs. Okay. So uh, this client of mine here in Michigan, your pricing might be a bit different, but we do like a full property maintenance package where we don't cut the lawns. 
we have all the work from the lawn care guys that are too busy cutting grass. Right. That's where we come in. We're always swamped doing garden maintenance, trimming, trimming shrubs, pruning trees. So I go off uh, three guys. Now it's 150 bucks an hour. Or I try to hit a $1,500 a day minimum if we're doing pro full property maintenance. That's good. Labor plus materials. That's really good. So, how long does it take you to do a job like this from start to finish? We'll walk around it all, but yeah. what do you budget for a job like this? Just ballpark. I budget three days. I try to get it done in two. Right. And it still takes three. <laughs> but at whatever Murphy's Law, whatever you think, it's going to take longer. It's going to cost more and everything. So, I've learned. Right. Yeah. Budget so bigger. We ripped out the old mulch. Uh, some of it. We put down all brand new weed barrier fabric and pins here. This is, ooh, this is deep here. See that? Yep, yep. We had we had some extra mulch, so we did nice and thick. Yep. But we trimmed all this, all the lilies, all the hostas. You guys, uh, I told my guys to take the tags off all the shrubs, and they forgot the one on the weeping cherry tree. Good thing I'm here. There you go. So we planted this backfill with compost, peat moss, uh, composted manure and peat moss. Cool. And uh, this tree was 169. I got a contractor discount of like, I think 10% off for the whole bill. But that's my, that goes in my pocket. Right. And then I charged the customer double retail. Yep. Uh, with no warranty, if there's a warranty. What do you do, six months, 12 months, 18 months? Uh, no warranties. No warranty. No On anything. liability. Gotcha. I know some guys will double or triple just to cover warranties. Yeah. But if you look, you can see how this is planted. We planted it elevated so it can drain faster. The collar isn't, see, that's the top of the shrub right there. There's yep. just a little bit right here. Yep. Uh, that's that's a good planting depth. And we've got the sprinklers on 15 minutes every other day. I might call them if it gets too hot here in July. Every yep. single day I want that tree to get water. Gotcha. So we edged all this out, redefined all the garden beds. Do you use a, a spade or what do you use? We use a, a spade and echo bed redefiner attachment. Sweet, sweet. And you ever use a steel one? I just got the counter. I want to get that. Yeah. That looks really good. Maybe I'll, I'll loan it to you. You can use it. Let me know your thoughts. There you go. They're gracious, long enough, maintenance. To, yeah, they're long gracious maintenance. enough to send that out. So These hostas were so overgrown, they were all bunching together. So uh, we went around the circumference and we pulled all the stuff out of the bottom so they're nice and show delineation. Coming around here, trimming all these. I think, I don't know what these are. They look like, I don't know the name of those. It's a maple tree. It's a maple tree. <laughs> all these uh, burning bush shrubs. So all the weed barrier fabric and pins, we put a pin down. Every single square foot, we went through 1,000 pins to do about, uh, you put more pins down around plant, so about a box of 1,000 pins for, yeah, this is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's when we're done works. with the job, we go down on around on our hands and knees, fingertips with buckets and Clean it up. keep redefining and I still find stuff. Like, look at that little, little thing that popped up. One little guy. Get him. I'm going to leave that, but... Yeah. That's why you trim it, shake off the shrub, trim it again, shake it off, and then trim it again. You uh, Now you lay tarps down, right? Are you a tarp guy? Like you lay uh, it down it, it you depends. Prune? If we're trimming over decorative stone or brand new mulch, we lay down tarps. Yep. But if not, we just blow it out and rake it up. Beautiful. We do the window cleaning for this client as well. This house is like, as you can see by looking at those houses. So this house is a nice little subdivision. It's about 450 to clean all the windows inside and out, plus screens and ledges wiped down. Nice. Now, what's a, a maintenance program for you for shrubs and uh, landscape beds? Once a year, twice a year? Are you here spring and fall? How does this look? I would like to do it twice a year, but most of my customers call me once a year. Right. We come in after the spring rains and do one really good trim. Sure. So we'll come in for like, I don't know, a thousand, twelve hundred bucks, trim up a property and leave. Good. If I can get it done in a day, I make pretty decent money. Yeah. If it takes, it, it shouldn't take two days, but. Even if it does, it's not that bad still. That's okay. Because yeah, we're on our way to the next job. Right. When I'm done putting mulch down, I go around like this with my fingers and I push it all the way so this nice definition is showing. We planted all these brand new burning bush shrubs because we ripped out a bunch of rows of Sharon. Okay. We ripped them out. And we're ripping out shrubs and charging uh, 35 to 85 to rip out the shrub. It includes root, ball, and stump. Each shrub. Cool. 35 to 85. So if we rip out, now if they're like a dwarf Alberta spruce shrub or something that's a little bit bigger, it's 100 bucks a shrub. So we can knock down yeah. six, seven, eight hundred bucks. It's fast too when you use ropes and carabiners. Yep. We just did uh, two this morning. It was uh, 375 we were going to charge. I did 300 just to cut the guy a deal because I had to trade him some services. But yeah. it's 300 bucks, took us 45 minutes. 
Exactly. Yeah, it was nice. When you get your technique down, that's your money. Dude. Yeah, we used a uh, toe strap. We didn't even have to use a truck. Just two guys ripped it out. The whole ball. It didn't take long at all. By hand? Yeah. Like it was all like rotting and dead and diseased. Ah. So we could pull the whole thing out. It took a little bit of axing, but it was pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's my experience so far in landscaping and doing shrubs and trees. All these burning bush shrubs are they were 39 bucks a piece. So I just charge them uh, 80 bucks a piece to plant them. So one, two, three, four, five, six times eight, 480 to plant all these. Sweet. That includes transportation from the nursery to pick them up and backfill with the compost. Okay. And then fertilized. I, I fertilize with a, a holly tone fertilizer. It's an acidic organic fertilizer. So let me ask you this. Let's let's look at somebody who's getting into this or still new or first or second year, right? Yeah. What's some what's some common pitfalls? That's the one thing that always catches me. Like if we're talking about making money, there's things that are gonna cost me money, right? What's some of the biggest things that you've ever noticed? Maybe like your best tip. This is totally off the cuff. We don't have a script here, guys. But what's something that people should look at when they're planting stuff like this? Is it things dying off? Is it making sure you're making enough money, charging enough? What do you think is the number one issue that you've uh, when you first start getting when you first get started doing plantings, yep. you can lose money so quick mm -hmm. because you'll try to, if you justify things in your head, oh, that, oh that'll take quicker. We'll, yep. we'll, we'll go pick it up from the nursery for free. I'm afraid to charge the customer a transportation fee to go get the stuff. And now you're stuck at the nursery waiting in line. Yep. Maybe you got the wrong kind of plant and you have to go back. Just the time it takes, or you get there and you, you're buying a tree or some big shrubs for a customer and the root ball weighs 150 pounds. Right. And now like you have to go invest $300 in a, in a, a bulk, a, a dolly, dolly cart. Yep. I've got a really good dolly from Harbor Freight. It's like, like 80 bucks, but yep. right. And now you're sitting there dripping in sweat, pulling this thing up, you know, and hauling all these plants. And you realize that just literally took- Two hours. Two full hours. Right. So whenever- That you're not getting paid for. Not getting paid for. Right. That's out of your pocket. So when we do landscape jobs that are in installs, I book out one day mm -hmm. specifically just for getting all the materials on the property. Yeah, like a prep day, a stage day. Yeah, that's okay. so that's getting everything out of the property, staging it or whatever. Yep. Then uh, the second day is prepping everything and getting it all ready and uh, planning. And then when you're doing a large job, anything over well, a large is all relative. Right. If you're doing any job over eight, 10, 12 grand, book an entire day specifically for cleanup cool. and for details. So if you got a three day job, you need to turn that into a five or six day job. Book a rain day, right. book a day before. Even if you think it's only gonna take you three, four hours, a whole day just to get all the materials on the job site, right? Then a whole day in the back end to come up and clean up the the godforsaken mess that you made all right. over the place down to the most meticulous detail. And then even back in on the back, there's gonna be another 10% of work wrapping up with the client. Uh, oh, yeah. There's always change orders. Anytime a customer is spending over five grand, five to seven grand, there's always gonna be, they're gonna be adding more. They, if they don't know you and that you haven't worked for them before, some people have, some people have, they wanna, they wanna, the waters. They, they wanna spend a lot of money and get stuff done, they're busy. So when they see you guys working and they go, okay, these guys know what they're doing, I wanna spend a little more money, they're gonna come out of the house and be like, well, guess what, I want this and this and this, and yep. you're like, oh. So, you, you like it when they point to the neighbor, they're like, I want what he has, right? I need two of those, and it's Japanese maples, right? Like, yeah. what, what's something that's, uh, what's a good upsell for you? Like, what's something if somebody's already doing a solution that you can make more money on and the customer's gonna appreciate? What's some stuff like that for these oh, guys? boxwood shrubs, like over there, boxwood shrubs are 30, 32 bucks a piece, I charge, uh, 80 to 100 to put them in. So we could do a whole row of box with shrubs and the guy can, yeah. 1200, 1600 bucks right then and there. Uh, yeah. Planting trees like a Bradford pear or a Cleveland pear tree. Right. Uh, planting that, uh, a good upsell. Customers get a little shocked when we're removing a tree and planting one in its place. Sure. We gotta remove the tree, bring the stump grinder guy out, move any uh, landscape lighting or cables out of the way, grind and core out 12 to 15 inches deep, right. remove the pulp, then bring in new materials and install a new tree. And whenever you install a tree, make sure you budget for uh, staking it as well. Get a proper staking kit or yep. build one your own with uh, hoses around the tree or whatever you use so it, does, so it doesn't hurt the bark. Right. And then you gotta stake that tree with two to three stakes for the next what? six months to a year. I was just I say. forget to stake trees and the customer's like, aren't you gonna stake that? And the thing's falling over like this. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, you know, hopefully it's not falling over, but. Dude, and then, here's the cool thing. Like, this is all getting baptized by fire, right? Like, you learn probably most of this the hard way. They did, yeah. we did not have resources. Like, most of you guys know I do lawn care, right? I'm a lawn entrepreneur. It doesn't say landscaping entrepreneur, right? Which I can't even say that word. But here, here's my point is that 
cutting grass is one thing. I totally get that. And the more I do more YouTube, the more I interact and engage with all you guys, the more I realize there's there's different spectrums here, right? There's landscapers, there's lawn care guys, there's brick paver guys, there's tree guys. Tree guys are not the same as landscapers. Landsca so it's a, there's a skill set and people got to pay for that. And so that's why, you know, if obviously I'm not here to just do a plug for Keith, but if you guys haven't checked out his channel, you guys need to because I think last time I looked at his 950 videos. Now they're not all about landscaping. It's kind of his journey, his story, but there's a lot of uh, how-to videos. But I have a whole one on window cleaning as well. It's called yep. the Window Cleaning Blueprint. Okay. That's my other channel specifically for window cleaning. And because we did this whole landscape install here, our uh, bed redefiner attachment shot dirt all over the house and all over the windows. I had to go back and spend 35 minutes recleaning all the bottom windows. Right. I didn't calculate that on time. I didn't think the thing was going to shoot 40 feet. Yeah, still learning. No. But that's that's legit though. I mean, you're you're one of the guys that I would say is an authority, at least on YouTube. Mm -hmm. You know, it's free info, but it's some really good free info. So check out your channel, right, Keith Galfus? Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah. You're the man. Thank you. <laughs> I have one more thing I want to say about uh, pitfalls: plant spacing. Okay. So if you if you plant a tree too close to the corner of someone's house or two shrubs too close together and you're not are you do you want them to grow into a hedge or do you want to keep them separate? Do you want to keep them delineated? Oh. So thinking 5, 10, 15, 20 years into the future, sure. customers say, you know, well, we got to plant this tree, you know, 12 full feet out away from the foundation of the house. Sure. Uh, this ornamental tree. Why is it so far? Why are you extending the bed? Because this tree in 15 years, you're going to be talking about that landscaper who planted it too close. <laughs> and then it's going to make me look bad. So absolutely. Uh, always. Uh, here's another pitfall. Make sure you plan and prepare for breaking people's sprinkler lines and sprinkler heads and, and create a sprinkler repair kit toolbox inside of your trailer. Yep. So when you do break one you're not surprised it's part of the job I, I let customers know it's in our contracts you know although it says we're not responsible for that i say hey i'm probably going to break a sprinkler head or two and sure. that's okay we'll take we'll take care of it i do already pad that into the quote what about um uh, electrical like invisible fences or you, people got their little lighting you know lighting through the the yeah. beds are you pretty good with that stuff yep. too we ask the customer if they have any of that and yep. they show us we go around with flags and we'll stake it yep or we call out miss dig before we dig anything Very so cool. That's a Michigan thing, I think, but everybody's got their people that they can call for the for the groundwork. I always yeah. remember that people got to, people watch the videos all over the place, you know. Not everybody has like a missed dig. They have like Ohio dig and all these other people, uh, you know. So everybody's, we got like uh, what is it for us? Like not four one one, but we got our eight hundred eight one one or something like that. Everybody's, yeah. got, everybody's got their toll free number, mm -hmm. so that's always good. Call those guys. These Bradford pear trees right now, they were growing so low you couldn't even walk underneath them under the sidewalk. Yeah. We took them up quite a bit, a little too much, but. We wanted it to look like the neighbors. Sure. So we elevate, trim, thin out, shape, and prune the tree. We go inside, we thin out any crossing branches, any dead branches, so air can blow through the tree and not catch it like a parachute and break the tree over. Smart. That's why it needs proper air circulation. It's also more healthy for the crown of the tree as we elevate it, take a loop around it so it looks nice and clean and tight. Those are growing kind of funky. They haven't been conditioned and trained. But, and then also when you put mulch around the tree, don't volcano it around the mulch. The tree could cause so, uh, soil <laughs> compaction and root rock. Root rot, what? Root rot. Root rot. Yeah, yeah, it's something kind of like a that. tongue twister. <laughs> and then um, those trees right there, about 150 a piece. A uh, Bradford pear tree can go up to 350 dollars. That's just legit. Just to trim an ornamental tree. Right. So. I haven't done any preen yet. Here's the thing too, I really want to say thanks to Keith for just giving a, a quick walk around it. You know, I know we came at you guys fast and there's definitely tons of uh, info that he just presented. By the way, you can watch this video about five times and dissect everything that Keith just said and I probably will because man, I'm still learning and I want to, I don't want to just sell stuff, right? I want to advise and educate my customers. Uh, seriously, I take a lot of pride in what I do. I know Keith does, he's on his hands and knees three days later after a job or whatever with this place and he's, you know, tidying it up and taking pride in what he does. And that's what we want to do. We want to take care of our customers they're spending good money and let's give them a good product and service but um, this is the kind of stuff that I appreciate is the education you know the information the knowledge so we can actually grow our businesses make more money and you know that's you guys know that's what my channel is all about is how being a resource for you guys and that's why I like Keith and that's why I think we get along so well is because this guy's been doing nothing for the last three four years but trying to give back to all you guys absolutely and, and I know you guys appreciate that when it does come to quality with a project for a customer, I'm, I'm an open book with them I, I'll let them know anything that they want to know yep I'm not trying to conceal anything uh, but I do want to have live in a big house like this one day. Yep. Right? I grew up poor as dirt yep. and have a lot of that baggage still holding me down that I'm working through myself. Mm -hmm. But I, I will die before I walk off a property and everything isn't 100% to the best ability in my heart where I can go to sleep at night knowing that I, I busted my ass and gave that client more than their money's worth. And they have to know that too. Yep. When they feel that, 
That's why we were the highest rated and reviewed landscaper in the whole area on Google. Yeah. And I'm very proud of that because we're such a small business. It's because we have so many, and I do internet marketing, so I know how to leverage that in my favor. <laughs> that always helps, right? <laughs> we are sales guys to a degree, right? Yeah. So, heck yeah, that's legit. So what is the preen for anybody who doesn't know? While uh, we this is, we're over here, what's the basics? Yeah, it's not commercial like Treflon. Yep. This is a just a, cons, uh, a consumer grade weed control granule. It stops weeds before they start. When it rains, it breaks down, goes into the soil, and it stops the germination process. It won't do anything on existing uh, weeds, but it will help. I see a, a a 60 to 80 percent reduction in weeds it does wear out and it they'll be back soon especially if you know you can get upset oh what's not working well it's not going to stop everything yeah. so let me ask you this you guys do like bed maintenance like monthly bed maintenance you yeah. offer a program like that so we have several clients as a garden maintenance program that yep. we come out you know, you know bi-monthly i think i think that's where a lot of people even in lawn care but let alone landscaping miss the opportunity it's that Yes, you can make, uh, you can design, you can build, you can install, but there's always that maintain, you know. Design, install, maintain, yeah. Yep. So, um, when he was talking about dynamics, there's so many different variables with this that gets confusing quick. When, look at this crap. Oh, I'm glad this happened. So, dude, I'm so glad we're here right now. Let's do it. What I'm got? mistakes in real life. This was a sprinkler head that we missed that was buried. Mm -hmm. that had forced its way up. So now I actually have to come in here and tuck this fabric. There it is. I'd have been out here again, this one little tiny mistake. I'm just gonna tuck the fabric here. Yep. So the, the sprinkler head can get past it. So it probably, we got pins here probably mm -hmm. every two feet. Oh, I get anxiety with stuff like this, I feel like you have nightmares that my buddy owns a roofing company and he makes really good money and, and I like I say you know what dude I couldn't I couldn't sleep at night right. being afraid like I'd, I'd imagine people's roofs leaking into their like into the bedrooms and all over their offices and all over like uh, knowing that you have so many guys working for you and making sure you have a process to trust all them it's so much responsibility so with great risk and responsibility comes reward but it doesn't come without that risk right so you can see all my foot tracks. Oh, you make it nice. I gotta make it nice. Hey, look, it's not even my job, but you know, there's a standard. You do underground uh, buried downspouts. We didn't do these, but these I used to charge $110 per every 10 feet installed. Now it's $200 per every 10 feet installed. So this is gonna come out oh. all the way down. Comes all the way out to a vent. And yep. then the water escapes off the property in a buried downspout. I keep you guys in business by chopping those up with my lawnmowers. <laughs> it's all networking, right? <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's be honest. There's so many sprinkler heads that I hit, and I do not take responsibility for the sprinkler heads. If your irrigation system does not with uh, withdrawal or retract or compress or whatever you guys want to call it, I do not replace sprinkler heads. I will help people replace sprinkler heads, but uh, that's gonna be a charge. And so if you have a sprinkler head that pops up, uh, sometimes I'll do it, but most of the time it's 30 bucks a head and they gotta, they gotta pay for it. So uh, it's not my responsibility if it doesn't uh, decompress, but that's a little extra credit one. I'm sure everybody's different. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Yeah, what's up? This was uh, 3,990 to trim all the shrubs, put down wee bear fabric and pins, and put down the mulch. Mulch, I charge $110 per yard installed. It used to be 65 to 75, 85, 95. Yep. My, I was like, nobody would ever pay $100 per yard installed. Yeah. Yep. And my buddy who does it, he's like, all day. So I'm like, you know what? I just did a video on that about three weeks ago. We're at about 87.50 to $100 a yard installed. Folks loved it. It really helped out a lot of people. So here's what happens. You have a limiter, a self-limiting belief in, belief in your head. When you talk to the customer, like it's what it, that's what it's always been. You don't even right. think about it, like, oh yeah, mulch is a hundred dollars a yard install. You have eight yards, it's eight hundred bucks. If it's over ten yards, it'll drop to eighty-five a yard. So yeah, and then this and this and this. Like, you don't even think about it. Right. They go, okay, okay. Well, well, so what about this? And then you just made. Instead of making, because I know a landscaper who charges like sixty-five dollars a yard, and, and I was like, "Yeah, it's a little." He's low. making no money at that, and sometimes we can get proud 
of losing money right. and working for peanuts. Well, until you get frustrated enough, right? I'm angry. I have a healthy anger now, and I've been waiting <laughs> years for this because if if you're not charging enough, this is my mistake. If you're not charging enough, hear about this. If you're making just enough to keep making it, you'll never make enough to be able to invest in growth. Right. So if you say, if I were to be growing and getting, I don't know, you want to get a new truck, right? You want to get anything. Fast forward your your consciousness a little bit and be like, okay, what do I need to be making right now to be paying for all this? Then start charging for that ahead of time and then the income will provide the options to grow into it. Sure. You have to have money for growth. Why didn't I realize this sooner? <laughs> you and me both, brother. God bless you guys if you were watching this in your first year of business or your second year of business because this is stuff, like this is my friend Brandon Boudreau uh, with Envision Landscaping Solutions. This is the kind of stuff that he's already starting 202 or five years ahead and that's why he's uh, crushing it and I know a lot of you guys are crushing it too. You guys send me messages all the time on Instagram and DM me and you know I had so and so accounts and I got three times as much and you know what, that's what it's all about. That's what this community is all about is helping you guys go to the next level. At least it is on my channel, so. So we do a lot of houses like this. I try to lean in this direction and I used to when I first started I was like I'm nowhere near where I want to be by the way obviously but I used to go how do you how do you get clients like that how, how? like I would dream and now I realize reputable people want to work with reputable people sure so it's just a it's just a time game the longer you're in the business and the more your name gets out there little by little it's a domino effect and then you build a reputation especially by managing your reputation online and growing you know not in my YouTube videos. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> now, some of these jobs I can't compete. There are some companies who can, you know, bang out a fifteen thousand dollar job for twelve grand, and the owner's still making his twenty percent with not without even doing any manual work. I'm still, I'm still at 25% profit margins in my business, and I have to be on all these jobs on my hands and knees working. I don't do, I don't know, when we're really busy, I don't have time to do the work, but, but when you're the owner, you know you can bang stuff out so fast. to get this nice and thick so it's obvious to the customer that we came back and did it we planted these u shrubs yeah those are nice at first i, I the guys planted them here i'm like no but they're like here they got to go back more because you're looking from over there all right, we're gonna do a quick sign off here. So we got to hang out with Keith all day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. A couple tips from the truck, a couple tips from uh, walking around the property, which by the way, thank you. Like that was legit. Like that's as, that's as live as you could have got it. Um, I was like, I got this idea, this idea. He's like, let's actually go do something. And I'm like, dude, that sounds great to me. So um, any final thoughts for you, brother? That was pretty good. Anything you want to add really quick? Yes. Anything I want to add? Well, I got to make sure what I say is, is profound. Yes, one thing I want to add, if you don't have a pair of Bluetooth neckband headphones, go on audible.com and just start downloading audiobooks like Gary Vaynerchuk's Crushing It, anything Grant Cardone, you can get to old wisdom, philosophy, subconscious mind stuff. You'll be cutting the lawn just like twitching out, bro. Like the customer will come up to you and you'll just be like in a different dimension. But <laughs> this all came across because we were talking about when face uh, Keith does his Facebook live uh, story time with Keith and it's like at midnight and I always hit accept or join and my wife's like no not right now like we can't be I'm like seven layers deeper into the subconscious mind with Keith Kelpas and I'm like give it to me brother give it to me so we're <laughs> so